I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Away Everywhere bag, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. In true away fashion, the outside of this thing is pretty simple. So we have their um, weatherproof nylon. This is water resistant, so water just kind of beads off. It has like a slick feeling to it. It definitely feels like a, um, it feels like a nylon, I guess you could say. It's kind of like a, like a vinyl almost. Um, it has a, kind of makes that noise, you know? Um, it also has like a little bit of a shine to it, but I think it looks good. I think Away does that really well. We also have some like quality of life features here. Like we have two, um, well, we have leather accents all around, but at the bottom we have two little leather accents, which give um, it kind of something to sit down on top of, but there's nothing in the center. And I find that this does get weighed down a little bit. So it's nice to have a little bit of a buffer. I wouldn't say that it like really does that much to stop abrasion or like lift it off the ground, but kind of nice to see it. We've also got these nice leather handles, which we'll talk about, but we have some pretty subtle logo action here. Um, and then around the backside here, um, a, a luggage pass through, which is fairly simple. It works with, um, it's just, this is designed in size to be kind of like a carry-on bag or a personal item bag rather. Um, so if you have a carry-on that is a piece of rolling luggage from away perhaps, uh, this works really well with that. Um, and I can confirm it does slide on nice and easily. Um, so the outside of this is pretty simple. Otherwise they have the weight for this, um, as 2.75 pounds with this shoulder strap. And then without it, it's 2.25 pounds. So kind of up to you if weight is a huge thing, uh, for you, you can always remove this. It just comes off, um, with these little carabiner clips, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I think that what it does well is kind of have this nice, like slick aesthetic, and this is pretty much packed out to the brim. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like. And when it's packed out, kind of has this like rectangular shape to it, which I think looks really nice. Um, but it can be a little bit tough to pack when you're just kind of getting everything in there. Um, so let's take a look at how you carry this and then we'll get into the inside of the bag. Like I mentioned, the harness system is fairly simple. We have these two top leather uh, carry handles, no padding or anything on these, but I didn't really find myself needing it. You can put it over one shoulder, which I'll show you, um, but I, it's not a way that I would carry it super long. So I kind of like that they kept it pretty minimal, uh, especially because this carry strap is very, very comfortable. So you can see it's not overly thick. Like we've seen padding on um, shoulder straps like this, crossbody straps that are way thicker. And that's nice to have that padding Padding, but it's kind of nice to see that you can do a minimal strap padding like this and have it still be really comfortable. Um, when I had this thing packed out, it, you know, even to the as much as I could with as much stuff as I could have in there, uh, this was still really comfortable. So it attaches on either side. We've got these little clips here that can just sort of like tuck away so you don't see them um, if you're not using them. So let's say you wanted to take this off, then you would just remove it there and then remove it from the other side. So it attaches right there. Um, on either side to kind of create like a more balanced carry. And then this adjustment here is just one little buckle strap that's pretty easy to move um, to tighten as needed. And then you can move the uh, actual padding to be wherever you want it to be as well. So it, it's nice, it rotates. Um, there's no like extra strap or anything dangling. You can see it's just like one consistent uh, loop. So in general, I think the, what this does really well is its is its carry system. So I'll show you what it looks like on. So this is primarily how I carried the bag. I kept it over one shoulder and wore it as like a crossbody. And then I kept the actual duffel more on the back of me versus keeping it on the side. On the side, it just feels a little bit too bulky to be comfortable. For me, it was just easier to kind of throw it behind. And like I said, it's very comfortable. This strap feels, I think it's because it's so wide it's like wide but it's not overly long um to me it just it just feels very comfortable my shoulders not digging into my neck not digging into my shoulder or anything you can also wear it over one shoulder if you wanted so just easily like this um it feels comfortable and like not falling off or anything like that but crossbody was just the most comfortable and then here is how you'd wear it this way this isn't necessarily something I would do. It kind of, depending on how wide it is, that like top strap will pop off. If it's not as packed out, it, it won't. So it's kind of depends. Um, but I mostly use that for either carrying it like in the crook of my elbow or just keeping it all the way down. But for the most part, it was really easy to just throw this 
over one shoulder or to put it over me crossbody style and it was pretty comfortable to carry for whatever distance. If you're finding this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. But we're gonna take a look at the internal organization here. So we've got a front pocket that's just very tiny. Um, you can see that this zipper pull lays nice and flat, which is nice because it stays tucked out of the way, like you can't really see it. The problem is I had a hard time grabbing it a lot because you can see even when it's all the way up, it's only a little bit of extra space there. And this is just so tight, like there's really not that much space there. And when you zip it all the way up, it like goes all the way into that corner, which is nice because that means it's fully zipped, but less nice because I just had a hard time grabbing the zipper pull. Um, the other thing is when it would go into this side and gets tucked in, you see I kind of like shoved it in there um, just now, but this happened a lot actually where it get in there and I like, I couldn't really even like get to it half the time. Like I kind of had to manipulate the bag a little bit in order to get to it. So for me, that was like, I would say the most annoying part about this pocket. On the plus side, I didn't actually close this pocket very often because it stays, like even when it's closed, you can't, or open, you can't really even tell that it's open. And I was going in and out of this thing so often that um, I wasn't really worried about my stuff falling out. I think if I was actually in transit, like if I was on an airplane or something, I would definitely close this. But for my day-to-day -day use, I just, you know, going from like, my apartment to the, uh, the studio, like or to my car. Never really felt like anything was in danger. But in here I can fit a uh, regular iPhone 14 and then I have my wallet and then AirPods. So I really liked this pocket. I think that it did, like it's not overly huge. It goes from here to about the same on the other side. So it's not like the largest pocket in the world and the opening's definitely not that huge either, but I think it's really great for quick stow items like your phone or your wallet or something like that. Biggest thing is just kind of that zipper is a little bit annoying. And then we also have this back laptop compartment. So I really like this. I think uh, something we don't see super, super often is a separate laptop compartment in like a duffel or a weekender or something like that. Um, so I'm liking that people are trying to add those in more often, but this fits up to a 15 inch laptop. Um, and then there's like a tablet sleeve back here where you can put, you know, a keyboard or you can put some additional tech items. But uh, laptop feels pretty nice in here. It's a little bit padded on this side. And then there's not really like a false bottom, but it is well padded down here. So I never felt like my, like the padding, sometimes the padding will end here and there'll be like a gap between where the padding ends and the seam, but the padding goes like all the way onto the bottom. So I do feel like my tech was protected in here. I didn't have any concerns about like setting the bag down too hard or something like that. Um, but if you want, there is still space for you to add on like an additional, um, case or something like that on your laptop if you want a little bit of extra protection but this is a nice like metal zipper pull um, and these just zip open and close nice and easily uh, it's just a reverse coil so it it kind of makes it a little bit more subtle on the back there you don't really see it as much it kind of like leaves this front this main compartment zipper to be kind of the highlight of the bag um, but otherwise that's the only two storage options that you have in this thing i felt like that was more than enough for me um, especially if i'm using this as like a weekender bag most of the stuff i'm going to need is just going to go in that main compartment the only things i would need access to would be like my laptop which has this pocket here and then any small items which can go perfectly fine in that front pocket so going into the main compartment here, um, I'm just gonna kind of push all this stuff off to the side. We have a couple of different features that are really nice. You can see I keep like pushing these carry handles out of the way. Um, <clears throat> they always sort of naturally fall back to the center, which honestly I think is preferred. A lot of the times with these types of bags, they fall down uh, and then they stay down and then you're like always picking them up. I didn't mind this. It never really felt like it was in the way. Plus when you open this, <clears throat> excuse me, we do have a dual zipper so you can unzip from either side. But when you open this bag, you can see that it opens really, really, really wide. Um, the danger with this is that it's easy to overpack this and then realize that you can't actually close it. So you can see with all the stuff that I have in here, it's pretty much to the brim. Like I have this last packing cube that goes up to the top, the water bottle here. Um, I could maybe fit a little bit of extra gear right here, but like in terms of capacity, this is pretty much it. So. What's nice about the visibility is that when I got to my destination, I was pretty much good to just open this and leave it open. And then I can see everything on the inside. So if I need to get to a cube or to my toiletry bag or something like that, I was able to do so really quickly. The disadvantage is like I mentioned, you can overpack it, but also it can get a little bit 
saggy, which I'll show you once I take some stuff out of here. Um, but in, in general, this is a 20 liter capacity bag. I was able to get, I was able to get like an extra pair of pants and then I think like three or four different tops uh, plus like pajamas, my toiletry bag, um, and then like uh, like other accessory style items. The only thing that didn't really fit in here was an extra pair of shoes. Um, I think if I cut back on what else was in here, I probably could have fit them. But for the most part, like this was like a weekender bag that I used when I didn't need a different pair of shoes. Like if I was just wearing the same pair of sneakers for the entire weekend or same pair of sandals or something like that, um, that really thrived with that or i would say maybe like cut down on like a shirt or two if possible um, or maybe like leave the water bottle out or something like that um, we do have this water bottle pocket this fits smaller bottles so this is a hydro flask this is an 18 ounce yeah 18 ounce hydro flask but like let's say you have a i know this is like an abnormally tall bottle um, but even like a taller bottle something like this like some yetis are um, yeah some yetis are this tall it's just not got a fit in there. Um, I have a tall bottle that I just turn sideways, just kind of a preference thing, um, but something to keep in mind if your bottle's a little bit taller. Uh, you could also use this mesh pocket for quite literally anything else. It doesn't need to be a bottle, but that's a nice addition. You also have like this nice leather accent trim. I think Away does that really well with like the detailing. Uh, and then here's a good spot for like a journal or if you have a tablet or something that you didn't put in the laptop pocket. And then these two pockets you can kind of pack with whatever other gear you want. This is a pretty long key leash, um, a little bit longer than I think I needed for the inside of this bag. Um, for me personally, you could just remove this if you want to, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just put it on the key leash and then put my keys in this pocket here. You could also stick it in this back zippered pocket if you want to, and then like zip it up. I didn't find myself really using that back zippered pocket anyway in general, and that was mostly because uh, I felt like whatever I put in, or I noticed rather, whatever I put in these additional pockets kind of pulled the liner down. You can see how it's already doing it right now. And that's because like, even if the bag is full, like when the bag is fully upright, you can see that the liner fits nicely. But the second it starts to sag in, it starts to kind of like pull down here. And then when you're packing, you don't have as much of a floor to use, um, which I think this bag does well is have that floor to kind of give you like a baseline for packing. But it's like if I put all this in and then I try and close it, it doesn't really work. I have to kind of like readjust all my stuff. Um, so I noticed you kind of had to be strategic about how you're packing this thing just because when I had like a laptop in here and then all my other gear in these pockets, it got a little bit harder. So it's almost like you had to load the main compartment first and then like pack everything out there to make sure that it could fit in or else it, it's a little easy to overstuff. Um, but in general, the visibility is really great, which is what I think that this bag does really, really well. So there you have it, the Away Everywhere bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.